Hey everybody, it's Thursday. It means it's time for your Thursday thought. Um, and my thought for you today, or I thought I would share with you today, is a little bit about CMAs or comparative market analysis and kind of what I do to construct one. Um, so really, I think that being hyper-local is really key. And so I will, in the MLS, in the multiple listing system, I'll zoom in on the neighborhood. I'll usually draw a, uh, a shape around what I think are good boundaries, kind of utilizing uh, major roads or arteries, I think, to really get what I feel is a is a good snapshot of what that that neighborhood is like. And then I'll start putting in some uh, data that matches the home. So most often I'll start with the year built and their square footage, and I'll see where that leaves me. And then I'll add bedrooms and bathrooms, if that's a thing, or a garage maybe. Um, and that will start to give me some really focused results. And what I'm usually looking for is about five to eight sold results. And then I'll also always include the actives and the pending. So that means that homes that are that, that match our criteria, that are comparable in our really hyper-specific neighborhood, uh, that are active and or were recently active and are now pending or under contract. And then once I have, again, my list of five to nine, five to 10, I'll go through each listing. I'll go through the photos and I'll go through the descriptions and I'll look for features maybe like air conditioning or maybe RV hookups or anything that I think might adjust the comparable and I'll start to get a really good idea of what that neighborhood, what things sell for in that neighborhood and what extra features like those might bring in that neighborhood and then I'll compare it to my comparable property and I'll come up uh, with a value. Usually I can get pretty close. I mean, usually, obviously it's, it's as much an art as it is a science and so, but uh, usually kind of utilizing this method, I can get really hyper-local, really specific and really granular on what I think we should probably price the home at. I wanna to quickly touch on Zestimates. Uh, that, uh, compared to a Zestimate, a Zestimate is basically utilizing all of the static data. And so sometimes um, it's really close and sometimes it's really, really far off uh, just because it has no ability to uh, assess condition and or features or amenities that the house may have. And so it'll just pull basically from the public data and from recent sales and then give you its Zestimate. Um, and so that's kind of the difference. Is Zestimate is a, is a ballpark, I mean, plus or minus 10%. And when you're, uh, you know, talking about a three hundred thousand dollar home, that's a like it's a you could be three thirty or it could be uh, two seventy. So that's a sixty thousand dollar window that that uh, that Zillow has. I think they even have that right out there on their on their website. So anyway, uh, I just want to give you that. That's what I do to prepare an a CMA. If you would like me to prepare you a CMA, I would be happy to, uh, and then we can get an idea of what your home is worth in its current condition in its current location. Thanks very much. Uh, please reach out. Uh, call, text, messenger, email, whatever the best way for you. Love to hear from you and love to help you out and find out what your home might be worth. Thanks, everyone. See you next week on next week's Thursday Thought.